Well, thanks for logging on on this Labor Day Monday. My meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook with a check of the tropics out there as we are in September and the Atlantic Basin has been unusually quiet since about mid to late August. But we do have a couple of tropical waves to keep an eye on as we go over the next week or so. One in the Lesser Antilles and the yellow one just off the coast of Africa. But in the Gulf of Mexico, we've been tracking this area of some disturbed weather over the past few days. It had a low chance of some tropical development, but as of right now, you see the two and seven day uh, chances at zero percent. So not expecting any tropical development from this, but it will continue to bring a risk for some heavier rainfall for portions of Texas and Louisiana over the next couple of days that may bring an isolated flash flooding threat. Current satellite and radar as of 530 or so this evening, you see most of the more widespread rain with the systems with the deeper tropical moisture in the uh, more so coastal areas of near Galveston, Texas and just offshore here in Louisiana, more southern zones, parishes are on the dry side, although there are a few scattered pop up shower and storms more so for our more northern parishes and counties in Mississippi. So mainly on the drier side for the rest of our Labor Day Monday and mainly on the drier side as well for Tuesday. So with this disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico, as of now, there is no development expected with it as it will be moving inland by late Tuesday into about midweek, but it will bring some heavy rainfall and that could bring that isolated flash flooding threat for portions of the region over Wednesday and Thursday. So here is the moisture content right now this Monday evening. You see a lot of the higher moisture. That's where all the storms are located at, just offshore of Texas here in Louisiana. Some roughly relatively lower humidity, and so we have some lower, rather drier air, relatively drier air comparatively over the, the portion of the state. That's helping to decrease our rain chances for today and a little bit of tomorrow. But by Wednesday notice, this system will just this this area of disturbed weather that moves northward inland. So we see these beige colors. That's some rather moist air in the atmosphere. So that tropical moisture that moves inland and with it will come more widespread showers and storms throughout the day Wednesday. Still hanging on for our day on Thursday and then eventually that will begin to move eastward with a frontal boundary off to the north that's going to swing through and so by late Friday to our Saturday notice some drier air works its way in we dry things out and may even see some lower humidity as well come later next weekend so on Wednesday though with that deeper tropical moisture will bring some more heavier rainfall and that does bring a chance for some isolated flash flooding for our more urban areas our low lying areas and those poor drainage areas as well so there is a slight risk level two out of four chance for some excessive rainfall that could lead to to some flash flooding on Wednesday and on Thursday as well for portions of the area more so from Baton Rouge and points to the east and the I-55 corridor and the north and south shore for Thursday. And so it's kind of time out that rain chance for you. So as we go through the rest of today though, we'll be drying things out past the sunset heading toward the overnight hours tomorrow for our Tuesday afternoon, a little bit more of a transition day. So that deeper tropical moisture hasn't come into our area just yet. And so we'll see more so a daily uh, late afternoon pop up shower and storm chance rather isolated and widely scattered in coverage for our Tuesday. And then comes Wednesday. That's when we see that tropical moisture from the Gulf and works, works its way inland. And so maybe the early morning hours still on the drier side, but by the late morning to early afternoon hours, that's when we're going to see the more widespread shower and storm activity work its way inland throughout the day and kind of on and off again throughout most of our Wednesday into the evening hours. We'll see some showers and some storms. Some of it may be heavy at times. So for that maybe evening commute, use a little extra caution on those roadways and don't drive over flooded roadways either. Now by the over Night hours may be more so on a lesser coverage out there, maybe a few isolated shower storms so possible. That's stuff as far out as our in-house model goes. So now to the GFS model to look beyond Wednesday to Thursday. We'll see Wednesday as well agreeing with some widespread shower storm activity throughout the day and then even some showers still lingering into the overnight hours. And Thursday, again, going to see more rounds of some showers and some storms across the region. Again, some of it may be heavy at times and may lead to some ponding or some flash flooding. Still lingering rain possible for our Friday day as well and then as that front to the north eventually takes its way uh, more southward that's when that rain will begin to move to the east and out of here we get this northerly winds coming out of the north by Saturday into our Sunday and that's when we see some of that drier air and some lower humidity as well. So rainfall totals over, rainfall totals over the next five days, what we could expect, likely going to see the heaviest of rainfall over more so extreme southeast Louisiana, the north shore, south shore, New Orleans, down toward Homeland and the coastal parishes. 
more northern zones, maybe about an inch or two inches, and we could possibly see some locally higher amounts too where some of these heavier uh, rain bands may set up. That again could lead to some short-term drainage issues and some localized flooding. So keep an eye on that through Wednesday and Thursday. So again, no tropical development expected with that system, but it will bring some decent rainfall for midweek. Elsewhere in the tropics in the eastern Atlantic, we have another tropical wave to look at over just off the coast of Africa. As of right now, a medium chance of development over the next seven days as it moves generally west and northwestward. Could possibly see a, de a depression form over the next few days, but some of the current model guidance does indicate that this may just stay over water by then. So we'll keep an eye on it for sure, but no immediate threats. A little bit closer to the west near the Lesser Antilles Islands, we have another disturbance, a tropical wave we've been talking about for the past couple of days and really has uh, kind of lessened the chance of development as what we've seen some of the model guidance hint toward. But as we kind of see, I point out for you right over the Lesser Antilles Islands, that's where all that disturbed weather is. It's still rather highly disorganized, no real circulation with it, no area of low pressure really has developed yet. It's still, of course, disorganized. As it moves westward in the Caribbean, maybe by the Western Caribbean, or even the Yucatan or southwestern Gulf of Mexico, environmental conditions become a little bit more conducive for some gradual development possible. But again, some of the main model runs, the, the GFS, the European, the ensembles have kind of backed off on some of the aggressive or aggressive nature of some of the earlier runs that showed a more stronger system. So we'll be watching this closely as it goes through the rest of this week. But as this disturbance moves westward, we're talking about maybe development late this week toward next weekend, a possibility as of right now, a medium chance, 40% chance over the next seven days and no development expected over the next two days. But beyond there, there is, of course, high uncertainty on whether it does it continue just to the west as a weak system into Mexico. Does it make a turn to the north possibility? You know, we, we're going to be seeing our models flip flop uh, kind of back and forth until we get that area of low pressure to form. Until that happens, our models will be flip flopping. So you may see some individual model runs. Again, don't pay attention too much to those individual runs. Just keep an eye on the official forecast. But as of right now, no immediate tropical concerns here in Louisiana from this system. But we will, of course, continue to eye this and keep, it, keep a watch on this over the next seven days. Of course, it is the peak month of tropical activity in the Atlantic in the month of September. So that's it for the tropics here locally. We see our high temperatures in Baton Rouge and about the mid to upper 80s, the best chance for rain with that kind of tropical moisture Wednesday to our Thursday. And then with that frontal boundary to the north kind of sliding its way in, we'll see some lower humidity come through and we'll see actually our lows in the mornings, maybe into the 60s by Sunday and Monday morning. So that's going to feel almost like fall as well. So again, that's it for the tropics update right now so thanks for tuning in and for the storm tracker team i'm meteorologist brandon lashbrook